You're probably wondering what this is all about. Well, it's really about why we are here. Not just here today, but here on Earth. As spirit sons and daughters of God, we were sent here to live, grow, and gain experience. Each of us has been sent here at this time for a reason. We all have a purpose. Each of us has unique gifts. Special abilities. And differences in where we were born and who we were born to. All of these things play a role in our journey to try and become like Heavenly Father, find happiness, and return to live with Him. Discovering and developing our unique gifts and learning how we can use them to love and serve others is key. So how do we know where to start? The Savior showed us that we should grow in all parts of our lives. As a young man, he grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. So what does it mean to grow in wisdom, stature, and favor with God and man? Favor with God could mean doing things that show we love God. Spiritual things. Favor with man can mean doing things that show we love others. Social things. Growing in stature can mean learning to take care of our bodies and surroundings. Physical things. Growing in wisdom can mean learning and discovering new things. Intellectual things. These four areas, spiritual, social, physical, and intellectual, can help us focus on growing in all parts of our lives like the Savior. We can use these areas to set personal or group goals. And to plan family and church activities. Start by praying and thinking about things in these areas that you could work on individually. With family. Or with a quorum or class. These may be new things or things you're already doing. Maybe you feel you should improve your soccer skills. Learn to play an instrument. Do a service project. Read the scriptures more. Or be a better friend. Make a plan. And get to it. When we follow the Spirit and use what we've learned for good, the things we do can help us become more like the Savior. Now, it won't always be easy, and sometimes you'll fall short. No worries. That's part of learning. Adjust and keep trying. Remember, you don't have to do it on your own. You've got family. Church leaders. Former class members. Friends. And most important, the Lord. You are not alone. When we counsel with those who love us and follow the Holy Ghost, we can gain confidence in who we are. And become who the Lord needs each of us to be. God wants you. To be the best you, you can be. And there's nothing we can't accomplish. For with God, all things are possible. So that's all there is to it. Good luck. And have fun.